Oh, quad game winner. Right? Was that a quad game winner? I think that was a quad feed game winning kill cam. That was nice too. I don't know if it's going to show all three though, but I'm pretty sure I got a quad feed right there. Hey, let's go. Yo, what is going on guys? It is Dirty here bringing you a new video. So phase awards have been happening. You guys know that, right? Phase awards have started and today is actually the last day. It is for phase director of the month and four people were nominated. We have phase Jeb, phase rain, phase rug and phase sprat so i just want to talk a little bit about these not even jev rug and rain have a huge fan base they still got like almost double on jev and quadruple on sprat i'm gonna start with rug rug is a great kid i love him i love his personality he's a funny dude to be around i've met him i've i've hung out with him a couple times and he's always just you know light-hearted all-around nice guy you know he he cares about what others think and he puts others before him which is really cool and it's really nice and it's genuine because you don't find a lot of people who do that. Second of all, we got Phase Rain, Mr. Norton Shat himself, Teen Pop Sensation, and one of the very first Phase members that I ever talked to, and one of my biggest Phase inspirations, I would say, because this dude motivated me super hard. I, the times when I didn't think I could join Phase, he was like, "Dude, kill Phase Five. You got this. I believe in you, bro." Norton's always been there for me. He's a great guy, and I appreciate him. Phase Jeff, funny ass dude. Jeff is one of the funniest people I know. He, he does not give a shit about anything, and that is one of my favorite things about him because he doesn't care about what he says on Twitter. He doesn't care about. Okay. He doesn't care what people think about him, and you can tell because just some of the stuff he will say in videos you know that you know it's gonna have a little bit of backlash but it's jeff and he really doesn't care and that's one of my favorite things about that man and then there's phase sprat i've noticed sprat probably one of the longest in phase it was about the time when sprat joined phase is when i started hearing about phase and you know actually being a fan and so i've known him, him for a long time i have been a fan of his for a long time phase sprat was also nominated okay so sprat is one of the nicest dudes i've ever met seriously this man has helped me out so much he goes out of his way he is one of the kindest people i know he's so he's such a warm-hearted nice guy and I, I would do anything for this man they were all nominated for director of the year all around great guys you just got to really look into it. who put in the most and who put out more what am i doing who put out more incredible content because they they all did really good but sprat stood out in my opinion sprat stood out because this man grinded call of duty you know jeb jeb would still play cod you know he'd do his multi-cod rain would do mw2 bo2 sometimes rug the same but they just you know they were off on branding themselves um and growing just because their personalities was sprat he he stuck with cod he stuck with call of duty and just destroyed it black ops 3 was incredible an incredible year for me too and it was awesome to see sprat just from the get-go he's he was going from like an average like 15 20k video views actually even less than that and black ops 3 came out he easily started hitting like 60 70k and by the end of that a lot of his videos would do really well and he grinded black ops 3 so hard he made incredible videos i don't know if you guys know but sprat put so much time into commentaries he will literally spend five hours doing the same commentary just so he can have it be the perfect commentary this man put so much into this year and i think he deserves phase clan director of the year so if you haven't voted if you don't know about it the link to the tweet is gonna be down below vote sprat because you know sprat's Sprat's on the lower end of, you know, popularity, but he's still keeping up in the rank. Help him out if you have a different opinion. I'm not going to force you to vote for Sprat, but I want to try to convince you why Sprat deserves it. And not only that, is he took FaZe by the balls at the end of the year. And he was like, let's go, boys. We are going to put some great stuff back on this channel because, you know, FaZe was kind of... The face channel wasn't being used very much and then sprat was promoted leader and greatness happened so sprat all around amazing dude did amazing things on his channel and deserves phase director of the year and i know there's a lot of people who agree with me on that one thank you guys for watching the video let me know what you think because i think sprat deserves it you can go into crazy detail how you think the other guys did but you know rug if this was like a growth thing i would say rug 
would win. But as far as just putting out incredible content, putting tons of work into each and every video, Sprat was the man for that. So thank you guys for watching the video. I'll catch you guys later. It's dirty. I'm out.